2024 Mercedes AMG GT Coupe debuts with 2 plus 2 seats, AWD, and 577 HP the second generation evolves into a true Porsche 911 rival and offers a base 469 horsepower model. When AMG announced it's developing the SL and GT Coupe together, some enthusiasts were quick to criticize Mercedes for softening the Porsche 911 rival by turning it into an SL with a fixed metal roof. We'd argue this oversimplification was too premature as it's only now the coupe is being officially revealed. We'll have to wait for the first reviews and ownership experiences to find out whether the new GT Coupe has lost some of its sharpness. With that out of the way, say hello to the 2024 Mercedes AMG GT Coupe. The high-performance machine is morphing into a more practical 2 plus 2 sports car with fully variable 4 Modic plus all-wheel drive. Initially, it will only be offered in 63 and 55 flavors with V8 power, so it remains to be seen whether the SL43's four-pot engine with 375 horsepower will be added later in the life cycle. With that out of the way, say hello to the 2024 Mercedes-AMG GT Coupe. The high-performance machine is morphing into a more practical 2 plus 2 sports car with fully variable 4 Modic plus all-wheel drive. Initially, it will only be offered in 63 and 55 flavors with V8 power, so it remains to be seen whether the SL43's four-pot engine with 375 horsepower will be added later in the life cycle. The range-topping AMG GT63 Coupe boasts 577 horsepower and 590 pound-feet, 800 newton meters of torque from its twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 engine therefore echoing the output available in the SL63. It hits 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 3.1 seconds, making it 0.4 s quicker than the Roadster. Stick to the AMG GT55 Coupe and you get 469 horsepower and 516 pound-feet, 700 newton meters, which once again mirrors the equivalent SL. This lesser version needs 3.8 seconds to complete the sprint, perfectly matching the Roadster. Flat out. The hotter of the two coupes will reach 196 miles per hour, 315 km per hour, whereas the entry-level variant will still do 183 miles per hour, 295 km per hour. Both the 63 and 55 models have a WD and a 9-speed automatic transmission with a wet start-off clutch replacing the torque converter. The V8 with its standard active engine mounts can distribute the power evenly between the axles or send the whole shebang strictly to the rear axle. The dynamic duo gets an electronically controlled limited slip differential, rear wheel steering, and composite brake discs with 390mm front discs. Later in 2024, AMG will introduce ceramic brakes with bigger 420mm discs at the front axle. Both variants benefit from a sports suspension with semi-active, hydraulic roll stabilization featuring adaptive shock absorbers, and a front lift system to raise the nose by 1.18 inches, 30 millimeters. As a final note, Spy Shots have already revealed AMG intends to expand the GT Coupe's lineup with at least one plug-in hybrid variant featuring a charging port mounted on the rear bumper. Arriving at dealerships in the United States in the first half of 2024, the new Mercedes-AMG GT Coupe doesn't have a price tag yet. For reference, the SL55 starts at $141,300 while the SL63 begins from $183,000.